so next is the automatic expansion wall now automatic expansion wall means it will be operated automatically see the wall this is the wall we will see this is the adjusting screw this is the spring diaphragm at the center this is a needle wall this is liquid refrigerant in this will be a strainer okay and your liquid refrigerant will be out to the evaporator now in this the oh, this is the wall needle wall so opening and closing of this wall will depend upon the pressure difference the opening and closing of this wall will depend upon the change in the pressure in the evaporator evaporator varti je kai evaporator varcha load vadla ki pressure vadnar hai evaporator varcha load kami jala ki pressure kami honar hai okay when the load on the evaporator increases pressure also increases when the load on the evaporator decreases pressure also decreases so opening and closing of this wall will depend upon that condition as this opening and closing will depend upon that condition this wall is also known as a constant pressure expansion wall constant pressure expansion wall now you can see there are uh, what 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 are the main parts spring is there okay the spring can be adjusted with the help of this adjusting screw there is a diaphragm at the center there is a valve seat okay which can act as a orifice for the liquid refrigerant which will entering from the uh, your receiver okay and uh, you, this is the strainer which will remove all the contaminants and unwanted materials and only pure refrigerant will be Uh, send further to uh, inside here okay now uh, while uh, while seeing the operation of this automatic expansion wall as i told you the opening and closing depend upon the pressure on the evaporator okay condition is that if the evaporator pressure falls down evaporator varcha pressure jar khali gela okay see the spring pressure is acting from the top and evaporator pressure is acting from the bottom on this diaphragm if the evaporator pressure falls down manje ha pressure kami jala manje jasta pressure kon ata spring pressure sa so the spring will get expand and therefore this will come down okay evaporator pressure is less than the spring pressure so spring will expand this will come down valve will open more amount of liquid refrigerant from here will entered into the expansion device okay at when when the evaporator pressure falls down but second condition is that if the evaporator pressure increases okay the evaporator pressure spring pressure peksha jasta asel tar kay honare the spring will get contract this will move up and this will get closed okay here wall uh, wall will sit on the wall sit and this will get closed and whatever the area through which the liquid refrigerant is entering will be get stopped operator pressure uh, now second part when the evaporator pressure will increase what happened spring pressure spring will get contract and this will move up this will get closed so whatever the quantity or amount of liquid refrigerant flowing that will get stopped due to this will be get closed and for, uh, this will remain closed until the compressor start again and the uh, your your operator pressure will fall down your operator pressure jo parent kami hot nahi तो पर्यत यह ओपन होते नहीं ज्यादा अपल ऑपरेटर प्रेसर जास्त हो कम्प्लिटली क्लोज हो रहा है तो इधु का ही लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरेंट पास हो रहा नहीं तो कभीपर्यंत तो बंद आना है हा वॉल वेन इट विल अप टू वेन इट विल बी क्लोज अप टील सॉरी अंटील वेन इट विल बी क्लोज जोपर्यंत कॉम्प्रेसर पुनः स्टार्ट हो ऑपरेटर प्रेसर डाउन हो ओके ज्यादा ऑपरेटर प्रेसर डाउन हो स्प्रिंग पुनः एक्सपांड हो रहा है पुनः खाली हो रहा है साइकल इट विल गेट रिपीट okay so this was the automatic expansion wall the one is the thermostatic expansion wall now see the diagram more of the diagram is similar to the automatic expansion wall only the difference is that the filler bulb is attached on the outlet line of the evaporator okay and that filler bulb is attached at the top of the diaphragm or at the top of the this uh, so here the all the arrangement is same here your wall wall seat this to all the wall seat this is a strainer The refrigerant will enter it through this spring is here at the bottom side in automatic it for the upper side okay and from here your evaporator now here three pressures are acting means the opening and closing of this will depend upon one the bulb pressure which will act on from the top and your spring pressure and evaporator pressure which will act from the bottom so this is a thermostatic expansion valve this filler bulb is generally filled partially filled with the refrigerant which is refrigerant used in the refrigeration system the refrigerant it use kele it is it refrigerant asnar hai okay and the temperature will be as same as the refrigerant which is flowing through this evaporator pipeline okay as a refrigerant and ya points refrigerant ya point la je it refrigerant sa temperature asel it it asnar hai tyachanusar 
हे होणार आहे ओके फिलर बल्बचं प्रेशर वाढेल किंवा कमी होईल आफ्टर दॅट फर्स्ट वन इज दॅट इफ लोड ऑन इवॉपरेटर इन्क्रीजेस जर लोड इवॉपरेटरवरचा इन्क्रीज झाला ओके वेन द लोड ऑन द इवॉपरेटर इन्क्रीजेस वॉट विल हॅपन द प्रेशर सी वेन द लोड विल इन्क्रीज वॉट एवर द लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरेंट फ्लोईंग थ्रू दिस इवॉपरेटर पाईपलाईन इट विल बॉईल फास्टर ॲज कम्पेअर टू अदर कंडिशन ओके फास्ट बॉईल होणार आहे आणि त्यामुळे काय होणार आहे इट बिफोर इट कमिंग टू द आउटलेट द टेम्परेचर विल बी मॅक्झिमम ड्यू टू द हायर टेम्परेचर हियर द प्रेशर विल इन्क्रीज अँड दॅट प्रेशर विल ॲक्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द डायफ्राम सो दिस विल मूव डाऊन अँड मोर अमाऊंट ऑफ लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरंट विल एंटर थ्रू हियर टू द इवॉपरेटर ओके इथून जास्त अमाऊंट ऑफ हे होणार आहे इथं ज्यावेळी इव लोड इवॉपरेटरवरचा वाढेल त्यावेळी इथलं इथून फ्लो होणारं लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरंट हे फास्ट बॉईल होणार आहे त्यामुळे इथे येईपर्यंतचं वेपरमध्ये कन्व्हर्जन होणार आहे टेम्परेचर वाढणार आहे इथलं प्रेशर वाढेल प्रेशरवरून ॲक्ट होईल सो इट विल मूव्ह डाऊन दिस अँड सो इट विल ओपन द वॉल्व अँड मोर अमाऊंट ऑफ लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरंट विल फ्लो ओके अँड ॲट द सेकंड कंडिशन इफ लोड ऑन इवॉपरेटर डिक्रीजेस जसे जर दुसऱ्या कंडिशनला लोड इवॉपरेटरवरचा कमी झाला तर इथून फ्लो होणारं लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरंट द लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरंट फ्लोईंग थ्रू दिस इवॉपरेटर कॉईल विल नॉट बॉईल फास्टर ॲज कम्पेअर टू दिस कंडिशन देअर फोर सम अमाऊंट ऑफ लिक्विड विल बी रिमेन अँड दॅट लिक्विड विल कम हियर अप टू हियर ड्यू टू विच द टेम्परेचर विल बी गेट रिड्यूस्ड प्रेशर विल बी गेट रिड्यूस्ड अँड ड्यू टू द लो प्रेशर स्प्रिंग अँड इवॉपरेटर प्रेशर विल बी मॅक्झिमम अँड देअर फॉर इट विल मूव्ह अप अँड द वॉल विल गेट क्लोज ओके त्यावेळी वॉल क्लोज होणार आहे सो इट विल रेस्ट्रिक्ट द अमाऊंट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ रेफ्रिजरंट टू द इवॉपरेटर ॲट दॅट टाईम अँड अंटील द बोथ प्रेशर्स आर कम इन इक्विलिब्रियम दिस कंडिशन विल बी मेंटेन्ड ओके नाव वॉट दिस वॉट सो दिस इज द थर्मोस्टॅटिक एक्सपान्शन वॉल सो इन ॲटो ॲटोमॅटिक हियर इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन द प्रेशर and here thermostatic it will depend upon the degree of superheat then in automatic efficiency will be high thermostatic efficiency will be low okay and here in automatic less frictional losses will be there here more frictional losses will be there thermostatic here it is mostly used but here thermostatic expansion walls are rarely used and automatic are complex in construction and these thermostatics are simple in construction okay so this is the thermostatic expansion devices and thermo, uh, sorry expansion devices and there are we have seen the three types one is the capillary tube another one is the automatic expansion device and thermostatic expansion device if you have any query related to this expansion devices please ask me in the comment box i will give you reply there and <clears throat> if you like the method of teaching please like the video and subscribe the channel thank you